Amen. Praise God for another glorious opportunity to come to you uh, discussing what thus saith the Lord. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are here with the 3 p.m. Facebook Live uh, Bible discussion, the Singles Ministry. Glad to have all of our brothers and sisters in Christ with us this afternoon uh, for our, our Bible discussion, virtual Facebook Live Singles Ministry. Uh, to the singles, we love you. We're praying for you. We thank you for our great ministry that we work together in. Uh, and we are coming to you, uh, bringing a word from the King of Glory. Uh, I'm Al Jackson, the um, minister, co-minister, Northside Church of Christ, Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, God in his infinite wisdom has blessed us with another opportunity to come to you to speak on the behalf of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is for our singles. Uh, we have a special uh, relationship, special mission uh, with the singles ministry at the Northside Congregation. We're very active. Uh, God has blessed my wife and I to lead the singles ministry uh, for the last six years, and we are looking forward to bigger and better things. We started out um, this, uh, we start out, we have our big uh, banquet and and uh, seminar in December of every year. So last December, uh, we had an excellent uh, fellowship, great time here at, at our home and uh, and at the church building. And we 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 look forward to uh, more activities. Uh, we had a lot of great plans for 2020. Uh, we've been uh, we have been suspended for a while, but with the help of King Jesus, uh, we we still. Uh, looking forward to bigger and better things uh, for the singles ministry. So we say we love you. Happy uh, Saturday. Happy Mother's Day to all the ladies, all the sisters, all the mothers. We love you. Thank God for you. Uh, we couldn't be, we would not be here without you, uh, literally and spiritually and uh, metaphorically. So we thank God for all the sisters, all the women, and all the mothers. Uh, we, we appreciate you so very, very much. Uh, and for, this is our singles ministry, 3 p.m. virtual Bible discussion. So please uh, share, like, comment, subscribe, start your watch parties, and let everyone, let all your friends, let all your contacts, everyone in, let everyone in your network know that the truth is streaming right now. So everyone is invited. Everyone is invited to join in with us with today's uh, Bible discussion. Uh, we want to go uh, into the word of the Lord uh, in just a moment, but let's have a prayer at this time. Uh, come on in the room. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. Uh, Freeman family, Walker family, appreciate you. Kathy Brown, thank you. Uh, we, we appreciate all of those who are Joining in with us, I saw Furman Jackson, uh, appreciate you. Uh, let's see, Tamika Jackson, thank you so much. Um, Claytonia Johnson, appreciate you being with us. Uh, Val Veronica uh, Brown, we're praying for you and your family. Sister Veronica, uh, Sister April Chambers, appreciate you. And we thank God for you, wonderful, amazing nurse. All of our nurses, all of our, uh, all of the nurses, doctors, essential workers, transportation folks, teachers, you know, truck drivers, um, and, and um, of course, also child protective people, the Department of Children and Families folks. Uh, we thank God for you. Thank God for your amazing work, grocery store workers, uh, everyone who was labeled as essential workers. We appreciate you so very, very much. Uh, let's go to the, uh, as we get ready to go to the word, uh, let's go to the Lord in a word of prayer. Let us pray. Holy Father, Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord, we honor you. We praise you. We thank you for your holy and divine uh, scriptures. We come to you, dear God, asking for your help in the time of need. Lord, we need you. We can't make it without you. We pray that you will guide us, strengthen us. We pray for all of our single brothers and our single sisters. We thank you for their faith in Christ. 
We pray for them, dear Lord. We ask that you will touch them and strengthen them uh, with their relationship with Jesus Christ, their relationship with their families, relationship with their children, and relationships with uh, the, the, the church in, in the context of God's word. We love you. We honor you. We pray for everyone that's joining in with us on this uh, Facebook Live Bible discussion uh, that your scriptures will have um, have an alleyway to give us the hope and the peace and the strength that we need. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thanks all everyone for joining in. Uh, Sister Vicki, appreciate you for joining in. Brother Todd, uh, Sister Rock, thank you very much. Uh, we're going to the word. First Kings chapter 19. First Kings chapter 19. Uh, and our uh, subject, First Kings, uh, the chapter is uh, 19th chapter. As we said, please like, please, uh, you know, like the page, comments, share with someone who may be in need of some encouraging words. Like, share, comment, start your watch parties. And we want to encourage you as we go into God's scriptures. Uh, First Kings chapter 19, our subject is live by faith, not feelings. Live by faith and not feelings. We, we, that's our text. That's our topic for this afternoon. Live by faith, not feelings. Uh, L.A., great to have you. Thank you for joining in. Uh, Brother Scotty, Brother Furman, Sister Veronica, thank you for joining in. Our topic, live by faith not feelings. We live in an era and a time where uh, your really your feelings are up and down. Feelings are up and down all the time. Uh, many folks are having uh, lots of trouble, lots of pain, lots of uh, discussion about problems, trials, and tribulations. And our world is going through a tremendous uh, time of anxiety. And we want to make sure that we let everyone know that this is not the time to get swept up in our feelings. Feelings uh, are, are um, you know, it's, it's, we all have feelings. We all have emotions. Um, but, but as a Christian, as a child of God, as a child of God, uh, we have to make sure that we don't just live based on uh, how we feel. We don't just live based on how we feel. Make sure that you pay attention to your faith. Make sure that you notice uh, whether you are walking by faith or walking by feelings. Uh, Brother Chris, thank you for joining in. Uh, Sister Quanta, appreciate you. Vines family, thanks for joining in. So our subject today, live by faith, not feelings. Live by faith and not feelings. We all have feelings, um, but if you know like I know, feelings can lead you wrong. Feelings can lead you astray. Feelings can make you Believe something is true that is not true. Uh, so let us recognize the difference between our faith and our feelings. So let's make sure uh, that we have the attitude that I may survey my feelings, but I'm living by faith. Okay, First Kings chapter 19 is the scripture uh, that we are investigating. First Kings chapter 19. Uh, verse 1 through 8, 1 Kings 19, verse 1 through 8. Turn over there with us uh, in the Word of God, uh, and we're, we're looking forward to coming uh, from the Scriptures and giving an encouraging word from that which is written. Uh, Elder Davis, uh, Southside Orlando, Church Southside Church of Christ Orlando. Elder Davis, great to see you. Sister Angela, uh, great to have you with us. Uh, Murphy, Sister Murphy, great to have you. 1 Kings chapter 19. Uh, this is important. This is powerful. This is needful uh, during this coronavirus pandemic and all the fallout of this pandemic. The the it can cause your feelings to go up and down, and that's one thing that is important to understand about feelings. Uh, that your feelings are going to go up and down. You know, feelings in regards to your 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 current situation, feelings whether it be joy in one minute and then pain the next minute uh, feelings about your financial situation change 
feelings about your health change, feelings about your family changes, your friends, um, the future. Your feelings are going to go up and down. Notice your feelings, but live by your faith. So that's our subject today. Live by faith, not your feelings. We have a case study of a man by the name of Elijah. Uh, some debated, but I believe Elijah was um, a, a man that was not married. Elijah was single. Elijah was serving God. He was doing God's will. And something came up in his life that caused him some trouble with his feelings. Uh, so, but see, your feelings can be shaken. My feelings can be shaken. But I have to build up my faith in such a way that my faith will not be shaken. So faith must override our feelings. Let's check out uh, the man of God, Elijah, here. Uh, 1 Kings chapter 19. Uh, have you had some feelings that have gone up and down? Have you had some feelings that were inconsistent and you want to be stronger? And, uh, well, this lesson is for you. Uh, 1 Kings chapter 19. Uh, let's, let's look at that which is written. We have the prophet Elijah. Uh, Elijah was going through some things. Elijah was suffering. Elijah was uh, in trouble. Elijah's life was on the line. And he was having, he was uh, feeling some type of way. That's, a, that's, an, um, that's quite a statement. Feel, you know how people say that, you know, feeling some type of way. Uh, because no matter how you, you feel, you actually feel some type of way. You know, and people say, well, I'm in my feelings. Well, we're trying to help you to get out of your feelings and get into your faith. Yeah, hashtag that. You know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm into my faith not into my feelings, you know, um, not, I'm in my faith, not in my feelings. That's, that's, as one hashtag should be, I'm in my faith. And then the second hashtag should be not in my feelings. So we as Christians need to make sure that we're not always in our feelings, but we should be in our faith. You know, people tell me that, well, you know, brother Al, I'm kind of in my feelings, you know, uh, Chick-fil-A was closed on Sunday. I rode by there and I'm in my feelings. Well, uh, they're still going to be closed. Uh, you know, I'm glad they're closed. Uh, you know, someone may say, uh, I, my situation's not going the way I want. I'm in my feelings. Well, uh, get out of your feelings and get into your faith. You know, I, so, so we should hashtag that, share that, spread that with someone. Uh, I'm in my faith, not in my feelings. Okay. First Kings chapter 19, Elijah was a man of God. He served God, but he went through a situation. Thank you, Brother Scotty. Thank you, Brother. That's right. I'm in my faith, and then uh, not. I'm not in my feelings. We have to live above our feelings. You know, we have to go beyond our feelings. And we, during this coronavirus pandemic, have to be careful that you don't eat everything that you feel like eating. Lord have mercy. You know, we've been getting on... Our, our exercise, I uh, got a couple of miles in yesterday, trying to get some in today, family and I, thank God. Uh, but, but you feel like you're sitting around relaxing, but, you know, but, but we ought to have faith to know that uh, it's important that we stay active and moving. You know, you may not, you may not feel like going to work, but those who go to work, whether it be virtually or whether you have to leave the house, your, your faith tells you we've got to get up and go to work. You may feel like uh, sleeping in, but your faith tells you I've got to get up. You may not feel like paying that uh, rent or that mortgage or that light bill, but you have some faith that it better be paid or we'll be here in the dark. Uh, you may not feel like paying that phone bill, that cell phone bill, but but you understand that I, I've got to pay that bill to, you know, so that uh, Verizon, AT&T, Apple, they don't cut me off. So, so my point is your feelings can lead you astray, but your faith leads you to God. Elijah was in his feelings. Elijah uh, was going through some problems with Jezebel and he felt some type of way. But the God of heaven has power to help you to uh, be in your faith and not in your feelings. First Kings chapter 19 uh, verse number one, and if you're having trouble with your feelings versus your faith, uh, this this is uh, this lesson is for you. This lesson is for you. First Kings 19, 1, Ahab told Jezebel that all Elijah had done 
and how he had slain all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah, saying, So let the gods do so more to me, and more also, if I make not your life as the life of one of them by tomorrow at this time. And when he saw that, he arose and fled for his life. This is Elijah. Rose and fled for his life and came to Beersheba, which belongs to Judah, and left his servant there. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a juniper tree. And he requested for himself that he might die. And he said, it is enough now, Lord. Take away my life, for I am not better than my father's. Elijah, Elijah was in his feelings. Elijah felt some type of weight. Because the queen of the country threatened him. The queen of the country said, I'm going to kill you in less than 24 hours. The queen of the country, I want you to visualize this. The ruler of the country said, I'm sending my secret service to you. I'm sending my Navy SEALs to find you. And they're coming to kill you. In less than 24 hours. She said, by this time tomorrow, you will be dead. Sent him a message. Sent, uh, she sent him, I don't know if she sent it to him on, on Twitter or Instagram, Facebook, or uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. But, but you know what? They didn't have that back then, okay? And she didn't send it to him that way. But it wasn't like these uh, uh, Facebook gangsters today. They just make threats, you know, on social media today but but she was real she was for real um, she Jezebel really did kill people Ahab really did kill people so Elijah felt some type of way Elijah uh, was in his feelings and Elijah ran for his life and went out into the wilderness and he was all alone uh, some people right now you may be all alone you may feel lonely. You can be in a house full of people and still feel lonely. But you're not alone. When you have Jesus on your side, you're not alone. When you have help from above, you're not alone. Elijah fled for his life. And, and, and he prayed to God in the midst of his struggles. And he requested, a, requested Lord, I can't take any more. I can't take any more. You may be, especially during this time of this uh, coronavirus pandemic and people who are practicing uh, social distancing, you know, stay at home time orders, people who are uh, uh, complying with stay at home orders and quarantine, self quarantine. You know, this may be a time of loneliness, uh, but Elijah got depressed. Elijah had some homicidal thoughts or maybe uh, suicidal thoughts. Whenever you pray to God just to take your life from you, you, you have some problems in your mind. But the Lord showed him something different. What, I, what I'm trying to show us, what I'm trying to say is uh, point number one. Don't uh, trust your feelings. Point number one, don't trust your feelings. Feelings are real. Feelings come about. Feelings happen. As I said, you can be in your feelings. You know, feelings can lead you astray, uh, but faith leads you to God. Feelings can lead you astray, but your faith can lead you to God. Don't trust your feelings. Uh, one night I was uh, sleeping, and I had a dream that I found lots of money. And, you know, the dream, when the dream is so vivid and seems so real, you know, you, you, you get excited. And in, in the dream, I was thinking about how we were going to pay some bills off and all kinds of things. And I woke up, I was still broke. So feelings can lead you astray. Don't trust your feelings, okay? Don't trust your feelings. Uh, you, you, we, going, we are going to have feelings. Feelings are a condition of the flesh. Lust is a condition of the flesh. 
don't trust your feelings. Uh, we may do a lesson, maybe uh, it's coming up soon, on how to tell the difference between lust and love. Uh, I should get some amens for that. I should get some amens right on that right there. Um, uh, lust is a condition of the flesh. Doubt, fear, absolutely. Fear and doubt are emotions, and they are based on the flesh. Faith and trust are actions based on God. Okay, um, thank you, Brother Scotty. You had the same dream. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm with you. See, your feelings, analyze your feelings. Feelings, uh, God allows us to have feelings so that we can assess our situation and, and know where we need to do more spiritual work in our spirit. That's what uh, the purpose of our feelings are. And there's a lot of scriptures we could read on that Romans chapter 7 Romans chapter 8 uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 6 you know talks about a whole lot of areas of physical feelings but then he always backs those feelings up with spiritual guidelines on what to do 1 Corinthians chapter 6 the whole chapter Galatians chapter 5 the entire chapter Colossians chapter 3 uh, don't have time to read all that but you need to read through those if you're having feelings of depression, feelings of anger, feelings of unforgiveness. If you're having feelings uh, like you want to give up. Now, now it's don't don't let me tell you something. If you feel like you want to give up, that feeling comes upon all of us at some point in time. But reach out to God to give you some more strength. He's able and he is available to give you strength. Elijah, even this great man of God, uh, um, he had feelings like he wanted to give up. Uh, that's right, Sister April. Feelings can cause you to make the wrong decisions. You know, there was someone, some of you, some of you, I don't know who, but, but someone out there, someone that's joining in with us right now, you felt like that person was the one. You felt like they were the one uh, but you in your feelings, but in your spirit, you knew something was wrong. But in your in your feelings, you felt like that person was the one. But in your spirit, your spiritual self was warning you, sending you warnings that you need to back up, sending you warnings you need to slow down, sending you warnings that you need to get some uh, guidance from someone that's spiritually minded to help you along with this situation or to help. Uh, you figure out if this person is for you or not. You, you in your spirit, you you were receiving that, but in your flesh, in your feelings, no, this is it. We going all the way. This is my dime piece right here. This is my base, my boo thing. This is this is my heart. This is my heart. Uh huh. Yeah. And your feelings led you astray. Well, it's happened to all of us at some time or another, but. We need to live by our faith, not our feelings. Don't make rash decisions when you feel bad. No matter what type of life you have, you're going to feel down sometimes. Write it out, get some advice, get some encouragement, call someone, listen to some great music, go for a walk, uh, exercise, um, think about something great in your life, look at some pictures of some happy times, uh, watch some comedy, do something to help you pray, uh, do something to help yourself during that time, and this too shall pass. So point number one, don't trust your feelings. Know that the feelings will come, and this the, the devil tempts us when we have these low feelings, these bad feelings, these angry feelings, and he tempts us to go into sin. He tempts us to give in and fall into sin, and right now, so many people are falling into different sins right now because of anxiety, because of sadness, depression, anger, uh, like Elijah. Elijah, uh, I mean, he really requested that God take his life from me. He said, I can't take another thing because my life is being threatened. And many people right now, they feel like with the coronavirus pandemic, my life is being threatened. My finances are being threatened. My health is being threatened. I've got to wear this mask and these gloves. I don't know if this person is sick or that person is sick. 
uh, my, I'm being threatened. They're telling you about all the people that uh, catch the virus, but they're not telling you all the people that recover from the virus, okay? We don't want the virus. You, we, we hope that you never uh, catch the virus, but, but there are a lot of people recovering. My point is, whatever's going on in your life, it's not over. It's not over until God says it's over, okay? So number one, don't trust your feelings. First Kings 19, verse number four, Elijah went a day's journey into the wilderness. He went out into the wilderness. We're reading 1 Kings 19, verse 4. He went out into the wilderness and came and sat under a juniper tree. I need more water. Juniper tree. And he requested for himself that he might die. And he said, it is enough, Lord. Take away my life, for I'm not better than my father's. Okay? Verse 5. And as he lay and slept under the juniper tree, behold, then an angel touched him and said, Arise and eat. It said, Arise and eat. Uh, number one, don't trust your feelings. Um, don't trust your feelings. Number two, trust in God's messengers. Trust in God's messengers. Number two, point two, trust in God's messengers. Number one, don't trust your feelings. Number two, trust God's messengers. The Lord God of heaven sent Elijah an angel that told him to arise and eat. And I believe, according to Matthew chapter 18, that Christians have angels watching over us right now. We, we can't see them. We can't hear them. Uh, but God has his angels and his messengers helping the children of God right now. Isn't that wonderful to know that the Lord has dispatched angels to watch over his children? So don't feel like you're alone. Even if uh, you have to practice social distancing from many people, the angel, every Christian has at least one angel watching them and being with them. So your angel doesn't have to be six feet away from you. Jesus doesn't have to be six feet away from you. The Holy Spirit doesn't have to be six feet away. The Father doesn't have to be six feet away. They, the, the God of heaven lives in his children and the angels walk with us and lead us. You don't know. You don't know. I don't know how many times the Lord's angels have saved us from danger. You don't even know. You don't even know how many times the Lord's angels have saved us from danger. But there are many times that, that it's just unseen, but he still takes care of his children. Here at this time, angels were uh, visible to Elijah. Uh, so number one, don't trust your feelings. Number two, trust God's messengers, okay? We're talking about don't live by your uh, feelings live by your faith live by your faith not your feelings okay now look the angel tells him to rise and and eat okay so instead of laying down all the time saints i'm t i'm telling here to tell you even if you work from home or if you're not able to work right now or if you're not working you need to dress up sometimes you need to get get up walk to the mailbox or something and uh you know do the uh, do whatever it takes to, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, take care of yourself, uh, you know, dress up, really do something to pump yourself up, go for a walk, uh, you know, eat right, uh, rise, rise, that's the point, rise, get up, get up, be active, because depression can get you down if you are not active. We were counseling with someone yesterday on the phone. And uh, talking, and this person let us know, let me, uh, let me and my wife know that they, you know, have been inside, been in the house, uh, and they have kids, and they, they haven't really. Uh, I said, well, when's because of they were dealing with depression and dealing with anxiety, and I said, well, when's the last time you, you know, dressed up and, you know, went outside or went for a walk? And they said maybe about, you know, uh, four, five months. Said, five months, my goodness. You know, we've got to be active. Do what you can to be active. Uh, he, the angel tells Elijah, arise. 
and eat. You need to get up, be active, you know, do something to snap your snap yourself out of that situation. Devil, you can't have my spirit. Devil, you can't have my joy. Devil, you can't have me. I've got to shake it off. I've got to shake this off. I cannot allow that old devil to tear me down. Arise and eat. Look at what the angel tells him. Verse 6. And he looked, and behold, there was a cake baked on the coals and a cruise of water um, at his head. And he did eat and drink and laid him down again. So rise, get some activity, you know, exercise, eat right, uh, and get rest. Get the proper rest. Get sleep. Uh, don't, make sure that some people sleep too much. Some people don't sleep enough. Uh, make sure that during this time, you know, see your feelings. Why am I saying all this? Because your feelings are affected by your diet, by your exercise regimen or lack thereof, and your sleep or lack thereof. Your feelings, your emotions are affected by these things, are affected by these various areas of phenomenon. If you don't get sleep, if you don't sleep that much, you can, I'm telling you, the way things are now, you can watch TV, you can watch um, you know, Netflix, you can watch Hulu, you can watch Disney Plus, you can be on social media 24 hours. You, you know, don't do that to yourself. Get some rest, get some quality sleep, and get up and be active, okay? Elijah had to snap out of this situation because the devil was on his case, uh, the devil's uh, henchmen were after him, and he had to rise, he had to eat, he had to get up and move around, and then he had to get some rest. Uh, now, can you imagine Elijah is hiding from Jezebel and Ahab? And the Bible says, 1 Kings 19 and verse number 6, he laid down again. He got some rest. Elijah had to rest. He's sleeping out in the woods. No air conditioning, no central heat and air, no kitchen, no refrigerator, no cell phone, no social media, uh, but he still got rest out there. We have, an, uh, a, you know, an apartment, we have a bed, uh, we have, uh, you know, lights on, we have electricity, cell phones, TVs, and many people still can't rest because you're so worried in your mind, worried in your heart, worried in your mind. We have to let these things go. The Bible tells us that the Lord never sleeps and the Lord never slumbers. So if the Lord is going to be up all night, I might as well get some rest. If the Lord is going to be up all night, I might as well get some rest. Live by faith, not by your feelings. Your feelings can lead you astray. Now he laid down again, and then verse number seven, the angel of the Lord came again the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat because the journey is too great for you. Repeat the process. Not Don't just work out one time. We have to repeat the process. I'm talking to myself too. Uh, you know, one day I walked two miles. I did two miles yesterday. But what am I going to do today? Lord have mercy. Y'all pray for me. We've got to get, uh, we've got to be consistent in our exercise, consistent with our diet, consistent with studying the Bible. My goodness. Sometimes you can do great one day and think that's enough for a whole week. No, no, no. Be consistent, little bit at a time. Be consistent in your joy, consistent in your peace, consistent in your faith. She, the, the, uh, the, the Bible tells that Elijah, he uh, had to repeat the process. Keep getting more and more faith, more joy, more peace. Be consistent with this process. The journey is too great for you. The journey is too great for you to complete this life's journey of one Bible study. The journey is too great for you to complete life's journey of one time worshiping on Sunday uh, every other month. The journey is too great for you to complete just by uh, doing uh, a 10 minute Bible study once a month. The journey is too great for you. We need consistent action in our physical health, our spiritual health as well. He, did, he repeated the process. He repeated the process and then look what happened. 1 Kings 19 and verse um, number 8. This is one of my favorite scriptures. 1 Kings 19 and verse number 8. You need to read this and 
you know, copy this, put it on your refrigerator, uh, um, you know, uh, put it out there, let it be known uh, how good God is. That's right. Uh, so, so uh, rise, get up, get busy, get active, eat right, study God's word, be active, do your work, and get some rest. That's right, uh, Bynes family. You got it. God's got the night shift covered. So we should rest because he's going to be up all night. First Kings 19 and verse number 8, one of my favorite scriptures. And he arose and did eat and drink and went, eat right, drink right, and went in the strength of that meat 40 days and 40 nights unto Horeb, the mount of God. God fed him. And Elijah went in the strength of that, went in the strength of that meal 40 days and 40 nights. You know, when you get consistent, when you get consistent in worshiping, consistent in studying, consistent in uh, listening to uh, singing, uh, 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 acapella singing or singing along, consistent in Bible study, consistent in exercise, consistent in eating right, consistent in drinking right. That's water, you know, drinking right. Leave the Leave that alcohol alone. Leave those drugs alone. That that messes with your emotions too. Alcohol messes with your your feelings. You'll be in your feelings for real. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, that'll really mess you up. It it takes you all over the place. And another thing that is designed to do, alcohol is designed to do, and and weed and drugs and 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 pills. All these things are designed to uh, get you addicted. Cigarettes, cigars. Um, you know, um, all these different, so many of these different things when it comes to alcohol, drugs, and th drinking and smoking, they're, they're designed to get you addicted, to get you running back, chasing after a feeling, chasing after a feeling, chasing after a buzz, chasing after a high. That's what it's made to do. So live by faith, not by feelings. Feelings is not going to help you. It's not going to work, okay? Uh, but when Elijah uh, became consistent, when Elijah became consistent, the Bible says God strengthened him to go further than he could have gone by himself. That's what will happen when you consistently study, consistently pray. He's all by himself. He is in quarantine, Elijah is in self-isolation. Elijah is on a stay-at-home, stay-in-the-wilderness order. He's all alone. He's running for his life. Jezebel chased him. You may think the coronavirus is chasing you, but whatever's chasing you, God is bigger than whatever is chasing you. God is stronger, more powerful than whatever the devil has designed to take you out. So don't let stress, anxiety, depression, anger, uh, you know, anxiety attacks take over your life because Christ is able. Be consistent in worship. Be consistent in prayer. Be consistent. Get all the feeding you can get from uh, the various, uh, from those and, and things that we put out from the Church of Christ. They dedicated into the Church of Christ uh, because there are many congregations of the Church of Christ that are teaching the truth. So stay consistent when you do that. Look at the text here. 1 Kings 19 and verse number 8. The Lord, the scripture says, he went in the strength of that meal 40 days and 40 nights unto Horeb, the Mount of God. If you know anything about uh, Mount Horeb, you can read that in Exodus chapter 3. That's where God appeared to Moses, the man of God. What am I saying? God gives you strength to carry on until the next time you get back into worship. But we have to stay consistent. So don't trust uh, your uh, don't trust your feelings. Okay? Don't trust your feelings. Number one, trust in God's messengers, number two. And number three, trust in the word of God. Tr don't trust your feelings. Trust in the messengers of God 
and then trust in the word of God. That's what we need to do. Don't live your life saying, well, I'm in my feelings. Leave me alone today. I'm in my feelings. I feel some type of way. No, no. You don't live in your feelings. Live in your faith. You don't have to feel some type of way. Faith some type of way. Because when I have faith, I know he's going to make a way some type of way. When I have faith, I know he's going to make a way for my peace, make a way for my uh, finances. He's going to make a way for my health to be all right. He's going to make a way for my joy. He's going to make a way. He's going to make a way. I'm not uh, uh, feeling some type of way. I'm faithing some type of way. Uh, that not a good word, but it makes good sense. I, I'm, I'm, I'm faithing some type of way uh, because when you look at faith in the Bible, that's, that's right. When you look at the heroes of faith in God's word, Lord have mercy, we'll see that they faith their way through. They didn't feel their way through. They faith their way through. And if we walk by faith and not by sight, my Savior, your God, our Savior, he'll make everything all right. Trust in the word of God. Don't try to live feeling some type of way faith some type of way and God will make a way today we love you we want to pray for you we're telling you walk live by your faith not by your feelings trust in Jesus he's the way the truth and the life you know he loves you you know he loves you with a perfect love he loves you so much thank you thank you uh uh, Byron's family. Thank you, Veronica. In my faith, hashtag, in my faith, not in my feelings. Let's share it with some folks. Share this video. Let some people know you can be in your faith, not in your feelings. So make sure, make sure uh, that you're hearing what God's word says. That's very true. When we pray, we talk to God. When we read the Bible, he's talking to us. He's not talking to us in some still small voice today or, or, some, or some meditation. He talks to us. He speaks to us through the scriptures, through the word of God. He will speak to you through the Bible if you're willing to hear what he has to say. Jesus loves you. If you're not saved, he wants to save you. He died. He was buried. He rose again. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is the good news, the message that saves God's power under salvation, the gospel. Romans 1 and verse number 16, I'm, Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. See, he, to everyone that believes, everyone that has faith, he was, Paul was saying, don't try to feel your way through, faith your way through, and our Lord will make everything all right. After hearing the gospel, believe with all your heart, repent of your sins. According to Acts 17, 30, Luke 13, verse 3 and verse 5, and then confess Jesus to be God's son. Matthew 10, 32 and 33, and then be baptized for the forgiveness of your sins. You may say, well, I, I feel like I'm saved. Don't feel your way through. Faith your way through. Faith will teach you. Uh, for we're all, Galatians 3, verse 26 and 27, we're all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. And they say, well, that's it. No, no, no. Keep reading. We're all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. That's 26. 27 says, for as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Be baptized by faith. Do God's will by faith. And he'll make everything all right. You know how much Jesus loves you? You know how much he wants a relationship with you and with me? He humbled himself to come from heaven down to this old sin-cursed earth. He gave it all up for us so we would give up our lives for him. He, he humbled himself. You know, he, he went through so much on the cross to have a relationship with us. The friend, the best friend, had, uh, had no friend on the cross. Jesus is the best friend. He had no friend on the cross. The king was treated like a slave on the cross. On the cross, the high priest suffered like the sacrifice on the cross. On the cross, the way was treated like he was lost. How, 
how can you beat away and be treated like you're lost? You know, why you contemplate that and contemplate that? Think about this. Uh, the breath of life couldn't breathe on the cross. How can the breath of life run out of breath? Well, he was dying for you and for me on the cross. On the cross, the living water got thirsty on the cross. That's that's what he did for us on, on the cross. How, how can that be? I, 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 he just humbled himself. He came down for us. On the cross, the life died on the cross. He is the life, but he still died for us. On the cross, the truth was lied on on the cross. Why did he do all of that? Why did he do that? Because he loves you and me. He's still who he is. He is the way, the truth, and the life, the bread. He is the breath of life. He's the way. He is the friend that sticks closer than a brother. He's the king, but he suffered. He suffered, bled, and died for you and for me. Why? So we will have a relationship with him. He didn't do that by his feelings. He did it by faith. He did it all for us. It's, it's not much to ask. It's not too much to ask for us to come to him. If you need to be baptized, we at the Northside Church of Christ would love to talk with you, love to study with you, and help you to obey the gospel of Jesus Christ so you can be one with Christ, united with him, so, he, so you can have a relationship with him, be baptized into Christ. We'd love to teach you, help you to be saved, baptize you into Christ in a very safe environment, gloves and masks and everything, take you down into the water. And you can rise to walk in newness of life. Don't worry about the COVID-19 in the water. The blood is in the water. Jesus' blood is in that water. And you can rise to walk and new, go down in the water, rise to walk in newness of life, and be added to the church of Christ. And live faithful unto death, and he'll give you a crown of life. For everyone who's a Christian, everyone that's a member of the church, member of the church of Christ, continue to walk by faith, not feelings. Contact us at Northside Church of Christ. You see the information on the screen. Call us, email us, come and be with us, and we will love to help you to obey God's holy and divine word. Join us tomorrow, Sunday, uh, as we celebrate Jesus Christ and as we celebrate Mother's Day, as we encourage and thank God for the mothers. Uh, we we, we want to celebrate the mothers. We love you. We thank God for you. Mothers deserve a, a whole month at least. It should be Mother's Month, but we'll just start by Mother's Day. We love you. Uh, celebrate mothers and pray for those whose mothers have passed on. Uh, pray and let all of us who mothers are still here show them some love. Uh, join in with us for worship tomorrow, 8 a.m., Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Northside Church of Christ, 8 a.m., Virtual worship, virtual worship, uh, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, 8 a.m. And 10 a.m., uh, we will have our Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Adult Bible Study. 11 a.m., we will have our uh, Zoom Bible classes for uh, early learning all the way through high school. Uh, you don't want to miss this time tomorrow. And then next Saturday, next Saturday, we will have 3 p.m., Another Bible study for uh, the singles, single adult ministry at Northside, very special to us. And to all of our singles, we love you. We're praying for you. We're here to serve you. And remember, Wednesday night, 7 p.m., adult Bible study, Facebook Live. And uh, join us next Saturday, 3 p.m., God willing, uh, for our single adult uh, enriched single adult uh, Bible study, uh, Facebook Live. Call us, email, uh, text us. Um, Connect with us on social media. Follow, like, subscribe, follow, share this video. Share this video with, with your with your network. There's so many, I believe, that needs to know that we should not walk by our feelings, but we we should not live by our feelings, but live by faith in God. Stop being in your feelings and live in your faith. Let us pray. Father in heaven, dear God, we honor you. Thank you for this day. We pray that you go with everyone who is tuned in. We pray that our faith will override our feelings. Help us not to trust our feelings, but to analyze our feelings to see how we can get closer to the Lord and, the and peace, knowing that you have all things under control. 
Help us as Elijah did, dear God, to reach out and pray to you. Thank you for providing food for him, drink for him, and a messenger to encourage him. Help us to recognize that we, we have food and drink and we have messengers that you have sent to us to encourage us. Not necessarily, and we thank you for the angels that watch over us. We thank you for the men of God that preach and teach your word. Uh, the humans that are messengers for your scriptures. Help us to be faithful to Jesus. Be faithful in the church of Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you tomorrow, Sunday morning, 8 a.m., Northside Church of Christ.